All right, gorgeous ladies, welcome, welcome, welcome to our presentation. So this is the five shifts our alpha female clients are using to call in their king in three to six months or sometimes even less. So who is this masterclass for? This is for conscious alpha women in their 30s and 40s who long for a passionate, soulful, everlasting union with their beloved. So whether you are just getting out of a relationship or maybe you've been single for years or even your whole life, this content is going to be deeply relevant to wherever you're at. I promise we've got you covered. So in the next 45 minutes, I'm going to show you how to nurture that tender rosebud of longing in your heart and start believing again in the possibility of true love in your life, even if you've been single for years. I'm going to show you how to fall in love with the journey of calling in your king, even if you're just so burned out on the process, you just are like so ready to give up, give up altogether. And maybe you've deleted all the apps from your phone. I'm going to show you how to stop attracting men who are either intimidated by you, or maybe they just don't turn you on at all. And I'm going to show you how to partner with the divine masculine to start attracting a steady stream of conscious suitors who are ready to court you, claim you, and commit to you for life. I'm going to show you how to activate what I call your feminine honey. So it is that oozing, delicious, magnetic, feminine part of you that lives at your core. So you can receive graciously and effortlessly from men without feeling like you owe them anything at all. I'm going to show you how to shift out of a state of hyper independence and embrace your feminine vulnerability as a superpower. I'm going to show you how to stop sabotaging your relationships before they even have a chance to get off the ground. I'm going to show you how to attract a sacred partnership with your king in as little as three months. I'm going to show you how to learn the dance of modern courtship without all of these gimmicky tips and tricks that everyone teaches to manipulate a man into giving you what you want. Trust me, you do not have to do any of that stuff. So my promise to you is that I'm going to share with you my step-by-step -step proven system to ignite your feminine divinity and attract a lasting, passionate love with your king. So before we get into the good stuff, ladies, I just want to take a moment and really check in with you and kind of see where you're at in your process, right? Does this sound like you? Do you feel utterly and unimpressed with the guys that you meet? Like no one you meet quite does it for you. Or maybe the ones that do, maybe the guys that you are attracted to you ghost you after just a few dates. Do you feel like you are more spiritually evolved than the men that you meet? Like every guy you connect with seems to be less conscious than you, or even worse, there are these spiritual beta guys who just don't have any spine. Does it feel like all of the conscious masculine men were snatched up a long time ago and they're just slim pickings left for you to choose from? Does a part of you feel like you shouldn't even need a man? Like you judge this part of yourself and you sometimes struggle with this longing. Like, even though you feel like it's a true desire of your heart, are you exhausted trying to do everything alone in your life? Dinners alone, nights alone, parenting alone, working alone, 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 all day, all night. And you're just like, how can I possibly go through my whole life doing everything alone? <laughs> Does it piss you off when you hear coaches or teachers tell you, hey, just love yourself more as if you hadn't tried that and as if you hadn't done enough work on yourself already? Does it feel like everything in your life has just fallen into place? Like all the other pieces are just lined up perfectly, but this one area of your life just continues to mysteriously elude you and you can't figure out why. Do you long for the right man to co-create your conscious empire and family with? You know, but you're just wondering, like, if you're just going to have to go it alone at this point. Does it sometimes feel like you have experienced so much heartbreak, so much devastation in your life, and you wonder, like, what is the point in even trying? Have you done all of the divine feminine empowerment trainings, read all of the books about the goddess and feminine energy, but your relationship with men still, frankly, sucks? What I really want to ask you is do you lie in bed at the deepest, darkest hours of the night, holding yourself tenderly, rocking yourself to sleep, soothing yourself, longing, aching for a man's touch in your life, and not just any old man, like your man, your beloved, your king, and to feel his strong, protective, masculine, loving arms around you, holding you tight? 
So I've got some good news for you ladies. Okay. So none of these are actually the real problem. The real problem is just that you have not made what I call the shifts. So once you make these shifts, your life is going to do a complete 180 degree turn. And you're going to wake up one day in the not so distant future. And you're hardly going to recognize your life or the woman that you have become seemingly out of nowhere, you're going to start attracting a whole new caliber of men into your life. So strong, conscious, noble, masculine men are going to start coming out of the woodwork. And you're going to wonder like, where have these guys been my whole life? Seriously. You're going to start getting asked out by handsome men in the street, men in the cafe, men in the park, men at the gym. It's truly going to be raining men in your life. And you're going to be attracting such a wonderful bounty of good men that you're no longer going to feel desperate. Like you have to settle for less than what you truly desire and deserve. And you can consciously choose the one who is right for you. And you are going to get to a point where you are dating all of these different men. You are enjoying this process. You are being courted, pursued by multiple high quality men. And it's going to get to a certain point where like one of these guys is going to rise to the top as the clear victory. He is going to be clearly the one for you. And you are going to have a moment of epiphany where it's like, hella freaking Luya. He chooses you. You choose him and it is this perfect rendezvous point. And you are going to feel such a deep sense of relief. Trust me, I felt this. He is going to be here. And you can finally get on with your dreams of starting a family and building a life together. And you're finally going to be able to co-create the conscious empire of your dreams if that's what you want in union with your masculine counterpart. You're going to feel so seen, so safe, so protected, so cherished, so held in his arms, knowing with every fiber of your being, this guy, this incredible, incredible man, he has got me. And you're going to smile and you're going to giggle to yourself like, oh my gosh, this guy was so, so freaking worth the wait. Okay. So before we go any further, I'm just going to take a moment to introduce myself and my beloved uh, partner in crime, Jonathan. So my name is Claudia Wheeler Phillips. You may know me as Claudia Lucida. And I, along with my husband, we run a coaching company called Ecstatically Ever After. And what we have been called to do is really bring men and women back together on this planet in divine union. There has been too much separation, too much schism. Um, the battle of the sexes has been waging for far too long. And especially in these days where like, there's so much division, so much polarity, and we have been called to heal that. Okay. So a little bit about our romance, our sacred romance began over eight years ago, more like nine now, um, on new year's Eve. And we have been blissfully married for the past two and a half. So we have been on a journey to get to the point where we are at now, okay? We have both spent the last two decades on a deep personal growth journey, and we have trained to become master coaches by some of the most prestigious teachers in the whole world. So I am a certified sex, love, and relationship coach with the Tantric Institute of Integrated Sexuality, and my beloved is a certified bioenergetic practitioner from the Connecticut Healing Institute, so we really know our stuff. And over the past five years, what we have really done is we have refined our process of weaving together ancient um, spiritual wisdom with modern therapeutic principles to help women break lifetime patterns to master the journey of modern dating relationships and marriage. And over these past five years, we have helped hundreds of women heal their relationship with men and attract a lasting divine partnership with their masculine counterpart. Okay, ladies, so now we are going to get into the good stuff. We are now going to move into the five shifts our alpha female clients are using to call in their king in three to six months. So there are five key shifts that you must make in order to attract your king in six months or less, and I'm going to walk you through all five of them today. Okay, so shift number one is what I call embrace your sacred longing. So I know, I know this is a little bit unconventional, right? This is not probably what you've been told in the personal development space. If you are like me, you've probably been told by some very well-meaning but also misinformed people 
that wanting a man is okay, right? That's fine. But needing him is a big no-no, right? Because it makes you needy and men don't like that. And you should probably stop focusing on finding a man altogether and just work on yourself, your career, your mission, pretty much every other part of your life except for love. And while, of course, we don't want to show up as this like damsel in distress who clings in desperation to every man who shows any interest in here. um, And of course, we don't want to like we want to be whole into ourselves right before we enter in a relationship with another person, of course. Right. And we don't want to be desperately searching for a man to fill this deep void of pain within us, but I'm not talking about that. Okay. Your sacred longing is something else entirely. So most modern women have swung so far in the opposite direction and they have just embraced this ethos of never needing a man, like just love yourself and don't need a man, right? That many of us are actually having a really, really hard time finding and keeping a relationship with a high value masculine man. This, I believe, is one of the reasons why dating is so, so hard for modern women is this precise reason. And this is true even when we do deeply, secretly, and sometimes almost ashamedly, like long for union with our beloveds. So what happens is when we cut ourselves off from this deep longing within our hearts, we actually deny this deep desire need within us for our compliment. What we do is we actually cut ourselves off from the very thing that attracts healthy masculine energy into our lives to begin with. So a masculine man is not attracted to a woman who's just standing there uh, with her arms crossed in defiant independence, like, you know, proclaiming to the world, I don't need a man. I'm an empowered woman, right? The truth is they're not inspired to step up and claim a woman who doesn't have any need for him, who's just made him kind of irrelevant in her life. And they don't feel that instinctual need to like protect and provide for a woman who, who, who's happy on her own. You know, she self-sources everything she's ever wanted or needed from herself She's kind of like a, you know, a sex in the city type woman who's just super independent. She's got all the other parts of her life figured out, but like, you know, a man is not going to want to be masculine for that woman. So the truth is that healthy masculine men respond to healthy feminine vulnerability, which is actually very different than neediness. This is where we get confused as women. And it is one of those factors, those beautiful, beautiful factors about men that drives them to move mountains on our behalf, to slay the dragon in our lives, to go to battle, to win our hearts and to keep us safe from harm. It is so, it's like the, the, the essence of chivalry. The thing is that masculine men and feminine women have fit together like two matching puzzle pieces since the dawn of humanity. We complement each other's mutual innate gifts in ways that have truly stood the test of time. And I know it's become extremely in vogue to say like, we have everything we need on the inside of us, right? This actually just becomes a way in which we um, double down on that hyper-independence and we avoid the true intimacy that we truly, truly desire. So hyper-independence is a response that comes from a space of trauma, right? And it is chronic amongst modern alpha women. So my invitation to you is to take your armor off, embrace your sacred longing, and give yourself permission to desire or heck, even need a man in your life and watch men respond to you in a whole new way. (sighs) Okay, so shift two is called activate your honey. So I want to ask you, have you ever noticed that there is like this mysterious air surrounding women who seem to effortlessly magnetize the most high value men to them like bees to honey? And have you ever wondered like, what is that woman got that I don't have? I don't get it. Well, what if I told you these women have discovered a secret that has nothing to do with physical beauty, weight, or age? These women, 100% of the time, possess what the French call je ne sais quoi. It is that elusive, feminine, mysterious quality that oozes magnetism. It is what Queen Cleopatra had that made both Mark Antony and Julius Caesar fall head over heels in love with her. 
It's what Helen of Troy had, the face that launched a thousand ships, right, that began the Trojan War. It's what Queen Esther had that saved her people from destruction. So these legendary women, they did not possess anything that you don't have. What is your honey? So it sounds kind of vague, kind of woo-woo, kind of weird, right? But it is real, right? It is invisible, but it is very real. So it is that deeply felt energy within you that is innate to you as a feminine woman. It is that delicious sweet nectar within you that a man can sense in your presence. It is that quality that makes him want to take notice of you, to ask you out in public, to ask you out on a date, to pursue you, to woo you and claim you and cherish you for life. So men are instinctually drawn to this part of us. Masculine men are just drawn to this nectar within us, like they have to have us. They have to have it, right? They can't, it's almost like they can't help themselves. But here's the thing. Most women do not feel safe to stand in the full potency of their honey. Because usually at some point in her life, something to happen to her that caused her to close up shop and board up the windows on this part of her. So either she had her heart broken by a man that she loved deeply, maybe she experienced sexual trauma at some point in her life and she decided this part of herself wasn't safe, that she needed to shut it down. She may have been rejected, abandoned, abused, neglected by a father, a lover, or a husband. And so unconsciously, she vowed that she would never, ever, ever let anyone hurt her like that again. And so she decided to, not consciously, but at a deep unconscious level, she turned her honey off. She went invisible. So after working with hundreds of women in this area, what I've noticed is that most modern women are actually holding on to a ton of energetic armor that they're not even aware of, okay? It's like this big keep out sign is covering up the beauty of their hearts and the aliveness of their sensuality. So what I have noticed and what I teach in my work is that an absolutely essential piece of activating our feminine honey, standing in our feminine power, in our potency, in our magnetism, and really allowing our par that, that part of us to take the lead in our love lives, we have got to anchor a felt sense of safety in our nervous system. And without this foundation, it becomes almost impossible to open ourselves up to the full potency of our feminine essence. So a little bit about the nervous system. Your nervous system, it is that primal instinctual part of you that lives in the deep unconscious realms of your body mind. And its primary function is not to turn you into this like magnetic super goddess, unfortunately. It's actually to alert you to any potential dangers, right? And to move you into one of three responses in the face of that danger, either fight, flight, or freeze. And it is that brilliant part of our instinctual animal body that has kept humans from being eaten by predators for thousands and thousands of years. So we don't want to like shame this part of ourselves. We don't want to banish it. We don't want to go to war with it. The only problem is when we are doing any kind of transformational work or any kind of manifesting or anything like that, that primitive nervous system is going to kick into gear. It's going to move in a fight, flight, or freeze, and it's going to do everything it can to sabotage you from creating that breakthrough because it's going to say, hey, this is not safe. Hey, the last time you were powerful, the last time you stood in your feminine energy, the last time you were magnetic, you opened your heart up, something really, really bad happened. So it's just trying to make sure that never happens again. So we have to begin to entrain our nervous system to actually hold this level of power in our bodies, we have to know that it is safe to receive the next level of attention, affection, devotion that we desire from a man. So we have to begin to marry a felt sense, and this is so, so crucial, ladies, felt sense of safety in the body with the experience of being a fully embodied, magnetic, radiant woman who receives everything she desires from a man or the men in her life. So when our nervous system is healthy, when it's toned, when it's regulated, when it's safe, we can actually consciously and effortlessly expand into more and more and more of who we desire to be and what we desire to attract into our lives. And from that place, our honey, it gushes freely, abundantly, and lusciously. So 
I just want to share a little bit of a client case study here. So you get a sense of what happens when you activate your honey and when you work with your nervous system in this way. So our client, our amazing client, Buffy, she had just gotten into a new relationship with this, oh, this incredible masculine man, such a king this guy was, but she reached out to us. She was in a state of just complete distress, right? Because she her new relationship was triggering some deep childhood stuff, right? It was triggering this deep childhood abandonment wounds. And she, in her words, said she was about to destroy her partnership. So during our first session together, we helped her connect with a felt sense of safety in her body. We stabilized her nervous system she could, so she could finally end the drama she was unconsciously perpetuating. And you know, she was definitely one of our best client case studies, but after just one week, her relationship had shifted 180 degrees. She even shared with us the first session alone was worth all of the money I invested in this work. I have never felt safe in my body before working with you. Wow. That is huge. After a few weeks, Buffy and her new man were engaged. And after six weeks, they actually went to the courthouse house and they had a wedding. They tied the knot and now they're living blissfully ever after. And (laughs) her name, um, I think somewhat serendipitously is actually, um, her her new name is, is Mrs. Bliss. So this is Mr. and Mrs. Bliss celebrating their wedding, celebrating tying the knot um, with some lattes after their courthouse wedding. And they are just so happy, so beaming with joy. And I'm so proud of her for just doing the work, really, really um, committing to healing her nervous system so she could let this beautiful love into her life. Okay, so now we are moving into shift three, which I call Calibrate to the King. So Calibrate to the King is the secret sauce that makes our work different from just about any other coach you have ever encountered in this arena, okay? And I'm going to share with you why that is. So there has been so much talk over the past few years, really the past few decades, about the divine feminine, feminine empowerment, and the goddess rising movements, right? It's kind of everywhere, and it's really permeating the whole culture. And there's so much beauty about this movement. Don't get me wrong. Like, I have been in so many different groups, taken so many different courses, year-long intensive with top-level women in these areas. And I have really embraced my pleasure, my desires, my embodiment, my sensuality as a source of deep power within me. And it has been such an amazing ride. And these movements are definitely essential in the evolution of humanity and in my own personal growth journey. And after investing literally tens of thousands of dollars and at least 10,000 hours immersed in these fields, I discovered something that truly, truly shocked me. So what I noticed was that a majority of these women in these communities continued to struggle deeply in their relationship with men and the masculine. I would see the same women coming back year after year, seminar after seminar, and still experiencing the same issues with the men or the men in their lives. And I thought it would be the opposite, right? It was very, very strange and very, very confusing. So either they would stay chronically single for years or even decades, even when they deeply desire that lasting partnership or marriage, dating men casually, but rarely if ever entering into the deep lasting union they desired. I actually saw many marriages and long-term relationships fall apart. And it was very strange, right? I observed this same phenomenon happening over and over again. I really began to wonder like what was actually going on here? Were these women so awakened within themselves that they just had to push out the unconscious masculine around them? It was becoming such a strange occurrence that was happening far too often for me to ignore. Fortunately, around that time, I started tuning into some other teachers who were actually singing a very, very different tune. Thank God, right? Instead of preaching about the feminine rising and smashing the patriarchy, they were actually teaching me how to embrace union between the masculine and the feminine as a source of deep fulfillment 
This was like the missing piece for me. They were teaching me about how to love a man fully. They were showing me how to understand and respect the masculine in his glorious distinctness, how to bring together the unique gifts of the masculine and the feminine to create something even greater than the sum of their individual parts. This was truly the secret sauce that the majority of our clients were missing in their equation. And I believe this was the reason why so many of these um, women kept, kept experiencing the same kinds of stuff over and over and over again in their relationship with men. So no how mu- matter how much divine feminine or goddess work they had done, they were not able to create and sustain a thriving relationship with a masculine man. So when I began to fully immerse myself in these new teachings, my own relationship began to flourish in a whole new way. Our business completely took off at that time as we spent a whole year traveling around Europe, helping women attract the love of their life by healing their relationship with the masculine. When I started integrating and teaching this work, my clients started experiencing the most incredible breakthroughs. High value masculine men began coming out of the woodwork where previously there had been no one. Our clients started noticing kings everywhere. It was like the blinders came off where previously there had just been players and pretenders. Our clients started having the most radical shifts, usually meeting their king within months or even weeks. I knew this was the missing piece in all of the previous work I had done. And I soon developed my own embodiment practices for women to calibrate to or to sync up with this energy of the universal king archetype. So what is the king? And this is a really common question for women who have never been with a king, who don't know what king energy is like in their lives. Well, the king is the beloved He is the leader, he is the protector, and he is the provider. He is that deeply loving, conscious, healthy, wise, and strong, competent, capable, and powerful masculine. So I'm just going to share with you another case study of a woman that I had actually done some of these other divine feminine empowerment uh, trainings with. And she came to us because she Um, was experiencing a lot of the things that I was talking about, right? So our client, Kiana, she had done so much personal development. She was actually living deeply from from her feminine in many ways in her life. But the thing is, she kept attracting men who she wasn't really attracted to. She kept attracting men who did not really want to step up and be a man. So men who would dote on her, who would lavish her with love, But they were like nice guys who were missing that instinctual masculine drive to protect and provide. She knew she wanted a true king, and that's why she came to us. After she worked with us to calibrate to the king, she met the most incredible, loving, but strong and protective man that she could ever hope for. And guess what? They got engaged a few months later. So this is my gorgeous client, Kiana, getting proposed to by her king. He's on his knees. And guess what? She said, yes. How is that for a celebration? Whew, so good. Okay, so shift four is called Master the Dance of Modern Courtship. So if you were a woman like me, you probably have a whole lot of resistance to dating, right? Maybe you've wasted way too much time on the apps, (laughs) Maybe you feel like you're just ready to delete all of them from your phone for good and just let love happen if it's meant to be. Maybe you feel like you shouldn't be, you know, you should just be able to meet your guy organically without having to go on a single date. Maybe you've had a string of bad experiences that have really made you just want to give up on it altogether. Maybe you tried a bunch of cheesy gimmicky tricks from different love coaches who were teaching you how to, you know, ensnare a man with some snappy one-line text or tactic that never really worked out. And if so, I totally, totally get it. Modern dating and courtship, especially online, can feel so impossibly daunting and aggravating. When it feels hard enough alone just to get a great date, like let alone find your king, 
I understand why most women just want to throw in the towel after a few tries. After a few too many times of being stood up, being ghosted, being catfished, it can truly feel like the Wild West out there, especially nowadays. So what if I told you there was a dance that you could learn and master just like the tango or the salsa that will dramatically increase your chances of finding your king online? So the mass, vast majority of our clients, they find their person on Tinder, Bumble, Match, Hinge, or one of the other online platforms because they understand and embody the dance of modern courtship. They understand the moves. And the truth is that most people are just kind of winging it these days in dating. It's like they're throwing a bunch of spaghetti on the wall and hoping and praying and wishing that something will stick, but it doesn't, right? But when you master the dance moves, you become irresistibly magnetic and you also become deeply skillful in your approach to finding the one. I always say it's like tango. It's not like ecstatic dance or five rhythms. There is a skillfulness. There is a discipline that is required to actually get the results that you want. So it is both an art, it is a science and a discipline that is delightful to embody and it actually gets results. And the steps go well beyond what I'm able to teach in this 45 minute presentation, but the basic principles are the same. The man leads and the woman responds. That is pretty much it. And of course, this has a lot of nuance to it. There's dance moves for sure. These are the moves that are based on that eternal universal principle of masculine and feminine energy and how they actually move together naturally in sync on their dance to union. So what I have found that most women in dating, either they turn into total passive doormats in love and they stand there like with their hands tied behind their back, waiting for the man to just, you know, make the first move or they become overly aggressive, writing every man that they are interested in, pursuing him, taking too much initiative and scaring masculine men off. That's really where the art comes in, okay? So just like in real life, a woman doesn't just sit there on the sidelines wearing frumpy clothes with her arms folded, waiting for a man to just pick her up to dance, nor does she go up to every man, look him straight in the face and be like, hey, let's dance, right? She stands there like this beautiful flower. She beckons, she smiles, she enchants with her expression. She radiates a signal that she is open and available to be approached. And from there, a man will make his move and he whisks her away into the rich sunset of lasting love. Okay, so shift five is hire a mentor. So here's the truth bomb, ladies. If you are not living the epic relationship of your dreams, it is for one reason only. You, my darling, have some blind spots, okay? And that's okay, but we wanna be aware of them, right? So the answer that you are looking for, it is not more information. Information is cheap, free, and easy. Information is everywhere. If information were truly enough, then we would all have the most incredible relationships, the most amazing marriages, divorce rates would go out the window completely. It's not a lack of information. It's just that you haven't yet decided to make that transformation. And in my experience, transformation really happens with three things in place. Okay, so number one, you want to have a proven step-by-step -step system that gets you from A to B, something that covers every milestone on the path of attracting the relationship of your dreams, because there are, yes, there are a number of milestones that we talked about, right? And there's so many places where we can get tripped up, where we can move into self-sabotage, when we can um, derail ourselves unintentionally, and then we just go back to our starting point, and then we just use that as further evidence of why we're unworthy, why we're never going to have what we want, and the cycle continues, right? Number two is you need mindset support. Mindset support as well as just somebody there to hold your hand, right? Somebody who can really help you identify your blind spots and shift them into a new empowering narrative that actually gets you the results that you desire. And finally, and this may be the most important thing of all, you need accountability, okay? You need somebody who's gonna be there with you when you bump up against your fear. When you're like, 
holy crap, I can't do this. Holy crap, this is too scary. I'm just going to go back to where I was because it's my comfort zone, right? So somebody who's going to hold you to your vision of what you desire, no matter what. Somebody who's going to hold your feet to the fire um, of what it actually takes to get this change. So my husband and I, (laughs) over the past decade, I would say, we have collectively invested over $100,000 on mentors, coaches, transformational programs to get us the results that we have now. Like, let's just say I would not be married if I had not invested what I invested into in terms of time, money, energy, all of the things that I did, right? I cannot overemphasize the importance of having mentors in this process. And every time we did it, it was a big decision, but I would not be where I'm at today. Like if I hadn't invested myself in our future. So I just want to say, please, like from the bottom of my heart, don't go it alone. If you've been struggling in this area, if you've been trying this by yourself for years, maybe even decades, it's just not going to get better on its own. I've seen it again and again and again. I wish it would. I wish you could just wave a magic wand and get everything you want. But these patterns that we are breaking, we are breaking patterns that have probably lasted your whole lifetime since childhood. Okay. So don't go it alone. Okay. So we're just going to do a quick recap of everything that we have covered today. So today we promised, um, we showed you how to nurture that tender rosebud of longing in your heart and start believing again in the possibility of creating legendary love in your life, even if you've been single for years. I showed you how to fall in love with the journey of calling in your king, even if you're just so burned out on the process and maybe you've deleted all the apps from your phone. I showed you how to stop attracting men who are either intimidated by you, don't turn you on, and partner with the divine masculine to start attracting a steady stream of conscious suitors who are ready to court you, claim you, and commit to you. I showed you how to activate your feminine honey so you can receive graciously and effortlessly from men without feeling like you owe them anything. I'm gonna show you how to shift. I showed you how to shift from hyper-independence and embrace your vulnerability as a superpower. I showed you how to stop sabotaging your relationship before they really have a chance to get off the ground. And I showed you how to learn the dance of modern courtship without all of the gimmicky tips and tricks to manipulate a man into giving you what you want. I showed you how to attract and sustain a sacred partnership with your king in as little as three months. So here's what you need to win, ladies. Number one, embrace your sacred longing. It's okay. Give yourself permission to need a man. This is so important. Number two, activate your luscious divine feminine honey and heal your nervous system so you feel safe to hold your feminine power. Calibrate to the universal king archetype, the protector, the provider, the leader. So that is the type of man that you start attracting in your life. Master the dance of modern courtship. Stop throwing spaghetti on the wall, learn the moves, and you will have a whole new result. And finally, don't go this alone. Hire a mentor. These shifts alone are enough to get you the lasting love you desire. So I want to say now, now you have a choice, okay? You have a choice to stay exactly where you are by just kind of taking in this information, filing it somewhere in a filing cabinet in the back of your brain, not really taking action on it, not really deciding to do anything differently in your life, or you have the ability to make a new choice starting today. And here is how we can help, okay? My team and I have set aside some time in the next 48 hours to speak with you personally about how you can apply these ideas in your love life starting today. So whatever your biggest challenges are, I promise we have seen it. We really have seen it all and we know how to overcome it, okay? 
So what we're going to do on this session, we are going to hop on the phone for about 45 minutes and we're going to work with you to craft a step-by-step -step game plan for you to start magnetizing high quality men in your life right away. So you can finally get back in the driver's seat in your dating life, finally create your vision of the sacred partnership you have always dreamt of. And the cost of this call is absolutely free. Okay. This is not a sales call. There are no strings attached here. But there are a few caveats, okay? So who is this call for? You must be in a place right now where you are ultra committed to making a change in your love life now. You must have the other areas in your life reasonably figured out. So it's not like everything has to be perfect, but your love life is pretty much the last frontier and you're just like, I haven't yet cracked the code. Finally, you must be willing to not be a victim and you must be willing to be coachable and to take radical action and responsibility to create lasting transformation in your love life, okay? So here is why you are doing this, why we're doing this, okay? You probably are like, okay, why are they offering this free call? What's going on here? Well, we do this because we love giving back, right? This is part of the service that we offer to our community, the women um, who watch these master, this masterclass, because we truly love helping women attract divine love into their lives. And finally, we know that you might also want our help to transform your love life. If so, we can totally discuss and see if